cardiac output. This is the amount of blood that is pumped out of the heart in a minute. Um, this is used to estimate the efficiency of the heart. So it's important clinically, um, efficiency. Um, and then it reveals how much blood flow your organs are getting. So that's pretty important, right? Um, the tissues of your body need blood. Um, and then we're gonna look into the rest of this week, pretty much the factors that affect cardiac output. So cardiac output can be regulated um, to, to modulate cardiovascular function. And so cardiac output is dependent on two factors, heart rate and stroke volume. So two different components you already know about. So the abbreviations you'll see for this, cardiac output, CO, equals heart rate times stroke volume. Does this make sense that it, this is the, the math? Um, let's look at it. So, oops, I had that pop up again. So let's just do that. So cardiac output is in milliliters per minute. We are going to take into account heart rate in beats per minute multiplied by stroke volume in milliliters per beat. Remember, this one is our end diastolic volume minus our end systolic volume. And these beats are gonna cancel out to give us milliliters per minute. So thereby cardiac output is giving us the number of beats in a minute and the volume in each beat to give us the milliliters, the volume in, the, in a minute. So we're gonna look at the factors that influence cardiac output, um, but first we're gonna make sure you can calculate um, cardiac output with an example here. So remember this is our formula, um, cardiac output equals heart rate times stroke volume. What are some normal values for these two things? Heart rate, let's go with a 75 beats per minute. So that would be you know, at, at rest in a normal individual. Stroke volume, remember we calculated it in the earlier video. Here we're gonna go with 70 milliliters per beat. That's a little bit lower than what we saw in that one example. These both are going to vary depending on what you're doing. And that's important. We want to be able to have cardiac output change and you know your heart rate changes when you exercise. So does stroke volume. So therefore, so does cardiac output. So this individual, normal resting values, same ones I have right above there, what's their cardiac output? Well, cardiac output equals 75 beats per minute times 70 milliliters per beat. We can cross those out and we're gonna get 5,250 milliliters per minute or 5.25 liters per minute. That's what your heart is pumping at rest. Over five liters of blood in a single minute. Pretty cool. When you, we'll get back to this, when you exercise that can increase by anywhere from four to nine times, depending on your fitness level, um, nine times more than that. So like 45 liters per minute, crazy. Okay, do a learning check here. 